But now let's introduce you to an uh, initiative that we have started for the past several months. Uh, CNBC TV 18 has been visiting several business capitals and now we are visiting Kerala. This week we celebrate Inside Kerala. <coughs> As part of this initiative, we have one company which is much watched by the stock market aficionados, uh, uh, that's uh, Muthut Finance. Joining us now is George Alexander Muthut, the Managing Director of uh, Muthut Finance. Morning, George. Thank you very much uh, for joining in and for giving a golden start to our Inside Kerala initiative as well. Uh, well, tell us, is there good news? Uh, gold seems to have put a floor in the global markets. But uh, what about gold loans itself? Uh, uh, what has been the third quarter growth in your AUM? Yeah, we see a little bit of growth in the third quarter AUM of uh, gold, gold loans also. Uh, in fact, uh, Muthu just started uh, changing its uh, a, a bit in its uh, approach to gold loans and its customers. In fact, uh, we are now approaching SME customers and also customers for the consumer loans. We are taking the loans to the place where they are actually needing the loans. So, and also we are starting the EMI loans for the gold loans. Gold loans were earlier seen as a bullet repayment. Mm. So you take a loan and you can you are free to repay it at any point of time. That still holds good. Mm. But we are encouraging people to take EMI loans so that uh, every month there is a payment made on the gold loan which carries which part of the principal and the interest. Mm. And also we are encouraging customers to pay interest periodically mm. so that uh, we give them very much very good incentives if they pay monthly or quarterly etc so in the in the area of uh, stable gold price or maybe gold price is looking southward this is the best opportunity for customers to take a loan and all said and done gold loan is the easiest and the quickest form of loan available even today in the market mm -hmm. so everybody has gold so everybody needs money SMEs, consumers. So we are there with the gold loan and we see uh, good shoots of uh, improvement in the gold offtake. Probably third quarter and fourth quarter should do much well uh, better than the first and second quarter for gold loan offtake. Uh, but we were seeing, uh, you know, the weakness in the rural economy, also the weak monsoons that has impacted credit growth uh, across sectors. Um, has there been any recovery for a company like yours and what kind of AUMs would you target, say, over the next three years? Yeah, next three years we should see uh, 10 or uh, at best 15% growth of AUM year on year. And this year also we should see a 10 to or a good good economy we should see a 15 percent AUM growth this year also and probably going forward also we should see 10 to 15 percent growth in the AUM in the gold loan sector. Okay, <coughs> uh, can you just once again tell me what kind of uh, uh, AUM growth you are seeing in the third quarter also tell me what uh, margins you may enjoy since you are encouraging various other kinds of uh, repayment and therefore I am assuming you will be giving them some discount on the interest. What kind of margins will you enjoy this quarter? Yeah, uh, AUMs as I said for the year we should end up with about 10 to 15 percent growth in the AUM. Mm. As far as margins are concerned, as we have always been saying that uh, we would like to keep a net interest margin of 9 percent that is fixed. But uh, you will see that uh, of late the, uh, the, the cost of funds or the borrowing costs have been coming down steadily and we always try to pass on this to the customer. Even today one of our NCDs is open which is opened on uh, two days back. It is for 250 plus 250 crores and it is at 9 to 10 percent uh, interest range. So wherever we are able to reduce, get uh, lower cost of funds, we are passing it on to the customer. So this we pass on as uh, incentives for customers to pay interest early or periodically or monthly etc. So we will try to keep our net interest margin of 9 percent intact in the coming days. Okay. Uh, can a sense also about of your uh, gross NPLs because uh, you know in the quarter gone by a gross NPLs rose marginally to 2.55 percent because of some delayed recovery. Uh, can you uh, it, do you think that it could get worse in Q3 and Q4? 
No, it is not because of delay in recovery, etc. It is the con conscious decision by the company to give more time to the customers at the request of the branches. So all the NPLs which you see in the books are fully secured against gold. And it is just that we give little more time to the customer so that uh, we don't need to auction the gold earlier. We can, as a practice, auction the gold earlier also. But uh, being uh, a company with a little more uh, customer-friendly approach, we are trying to give them a little more time. So another two, three months' time is what we see as the uh, NPLs. And if they don't pay it in the next three months, then we auction the gold. Uh, we are seeing a lot of people able to repay the gold <coughs> instead of getting auctioned. That is the advantage of keeping it there. And uh, we don't lose anything because uh, the, full, uh, the loan is fully secured and we hardly we get uh, any uh, capital loss or principal loss in any of these loans. A very quick last question, uh, George. Do you see any competition from the digital guys? Now, you know, MobiQuick is companies like that are giving loans. Very soon you will have a bunch of small ba banks in Bangalore. Uh, which have got banking licenses and who will start eating into perhaps uh, your area of uh, borrowers. Uh, are you seeing uh, competition much more severe in 2016? So we have seen competition in the last four or five years when actually <coughs> when we start when we went public and mm -hmm. gold loans, uh, gold loan and gold loan bank, gold loan business became little more conspicuous. Uh, conspicuous in the eyes of the public and competitors mm. but uh, we have faced competition in the last five years from banks from NBFCs from money lenders etc so uh, the small banks also coming and giving loans yes we see a lot of uh, credit growth but uh, competition is always there and I, I don't see any any it, any effect of that on gold loan businesses gold loan is a class by itself all right. Uh, we we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much, George, uh, for joining us. I, uh, I agree that you all have faced some cutthroat competition in the past as well. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, launching our Inside Kerala initiative, as it were. <clears throat> Couple of good news. Uh, Nifty is back above 7,600.